hello. Well, this video response is for Ultra Junkie Jane, um, her 1950s rock and roll birthday challenge giveaway, as well as her, she hit 1100 subbies, so she wanted to celebrate that as well. So congratulations and happy birthday, Jane. Basically, you had to create a card that is six by six or larger. Um, it had to be rock and roll theme. Granted, this is not rock and roll theme, but I did a little bit of it inside of the card. Um, so I'll, I'll explain that later. But yeah, it had to be somewhat of rock and roll themed, um, 1950s theme. Her birthday um, year is 1955. So you had to add some, like those numbers somewhere in there, at least 1950s, somewhere in there. The winner will win a $40 either gift certificate or money to their PayPal accounts. And um, if you wanted to, this is not um, something you had to do, but if you wanted to create a shaker somewhere on the card, then you get three additional entries. So I did do one. This is my first shaker card, by the way. So I hope you like it, Jane. Um, and so the challenge is going on to July 15th, or at least the entries have to be in by July 15th. That's the deadline. So this is the card. The paper line I use, both this one as well as this one, is from um, Stampin' Up. I don't remember the name of it, but I bought it quite a few years ago. So it's no longer on, I guess it's a, um, whatchamacallit, retired line. But it's really cute. It has like the little vintage kind of feel, the pies and like the baking. And so I thought it was really cute. And then the images that I used, this one right here um, was from the Cricut Cartridge Suburbia. This one, super cute. And then the glass as well as inside the record as well as the little music notes is from the nifty 50s cartridge excuse me so yeah I thought it came out really cute I did add some glossy accents to her apron as well as the glasses to give it a little more defined look and then I use a lot of liquid pearls which is around the card as well as the sides I use some bling that I purchased from the scrapbook expo as well as some of these sequins that I purchased from the scrapbook expo as well and then in the inside if you can see um, it's number fives in there that I used as well as the hearts that are in there were from this Martha Stewart punch that I purchased a couple years ago and then it does shake as you can see and then inside it says happy birthday that's a stamp from um, my stamps of life I don't remember exactly which one but I use it from there so that's the front of the card. I think I named everything on there. And then the inside of the card, it's pretty simple. It says Nifty, which is also from the Nifty 50s cartridge, as well as the record, as well as the um, little music notes. So that's my little rock and roll part of the card. So I hope this passes, and I hope you like it, Jane. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. It took me quite a few hours. First, I did one before, and I didn't read the challenge carefully as to the size of the card, so I had to scratch that off and do a new one that was a little bit bigger. So um, I hope this will pass for at least rock and roll theme, at least for the inside. But yep, definitely check out her challenge. I'm going to try to link the... Um, original challenge video in the description box below. Um, if you don't see it right away, give me some time and I will try to link it in there um, once I go on my computer. But thanks everyone for watching and um, have a wonderful day and happy Father's Day. Bye.